Many people want to separate out their DNA matches into their paternal side and their maternal side. And you have to have had your mother or father or both of them tested to be able to do this. Now 23andMe and Family Tree DNA did this once you identified who your mother and father are. And so she just added this feature. And so today I want to go through how you can filter based on your mother or your father. Howdy, welcome to Family History Fanatics, where we love helping you climb your family tree and have fun along the way. Before we continue, if you want to help support our work, there's many ways you can do that. There are links in the description below to our website, to show notes and free guides. But the most important thing is, is to leave a comment and share this videos with others. We continue to grow thanks to people like you. If we go and we look at our match list, I have had my mother and my father tested on Ancestry and you can see here that if we pull up any one of these matches, it's going to tell me that this is on either my mother's side or my father's side. I haven't done anything else to be able to do this other than the fact that my mother and my father have tested. So Ancestry's already identified all of these people and how they fit onto my family tree on, on which side. As I look down at the full list, these are all interspersed. So here, looking at the pink is all the people that are on my father's side or on my mother's side and all the blue are the ones on my father's side. So if you have your mother or your father, or both of them tested and those results uploaded to Ancestry, you should be seeing this same thing. What about though, if you don't have your mother or your father tested, can you still get some of this advantage? And the answer there is yes. So here is my wife's. Now her parents had already passed away before there was the commercial genetic testing available. And so she doesn't have her mother or father tested on Ancestry. As you're looking at your match list, one of the things that you will see here is there will be a question. Do you recognize them? Is this somebody that you know? If you click yes on this, it's going to pull up which side of the family? Is this on your mother's side? Is this on your father's side? Or is this on both sides of your family? So in this case, I, if I know this person, I know the relationship, I can select which side of the family it is on. It's then going to ask us what relationship. And it gives us the most common relationships first. So with this person here, you can see there's first cousin, great grandmother, great granddaughter, or a grand aunt. If those are not the relationship, you can always click on the show more possibilities. These relationships are ordered by the most likely down to the least likely. So as I click on that, I can see that, hey, there's a lot more relationships, half aunt, half niece, grandmother, granddaughter, half sister, aunt or niece. And in this case, this is a half aunt. I click on that and it's going to have me confirm this information. So you've indicated that this person is on your, is your half aunt on your mother's side. Once I confirm it, you can see that mother's side now shows up in that person's information. If you don't have your mother or your father tested, you can still start to divide out your matches into your mother's side and your father's side based on those ones that you know. This may make it easier when you're looking at a shared match list of a new match. Are you seeing just mother's side? Are you seeing just father's side? Are you seeing both? That might help you to isolate where you need to focus your search in order to put them further into your family tree. Now, as Ancestry continues to add features, we will go over those features and show you how to use them. But this is a great easy feature to help separate out your matches just into the two sides of your family. If you still have questions about DNA, then consider joining us for our live streams where we answer your DNA questions or become an FHF Extra member where we have even more training and live streams to answer your questions. Now, one of the things you might have seen on there is the colored dots, which are also a way to group your different matches. If you'd like to learn how Devin groups them, then watch this video up here. But if you want to learn something else about DNA, then watch this video down below. There may be some that 